What is going on, everybody? Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Thanks for coming back and clicking on this video. Well, this is it. This is the week of the Houston Fishing Show, 48th annual Houston Fishing Show. Over 200,000 square foot exhibition floor. It is going to be awesome. I can't wait. I look forward to this fishing show all year long. You have vendors from Florida to Louisiana, all around Texas. It is just really, really awesome to come out and see what all these small businesses offer and provide and meet people, see old friends, make some new ones. I'm excited about it. And like I said, it's going on all week. So if you have if you've never been, then please take the opportunity to go out this weekend. It is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I, I can't wait. I'm getting my stuff and getting the last bit of my stuff together, and then I'm gonna head out there. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some lures and some rods and some reels and kayaks and boats, and it's going to be an amazing fun time. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget you haven't subscribed yet to the channel. Please go and do so. Like the video, leave a comment, share all that stuff. Let's get going. Let's get going. Get the rest of my stuff together and we're gonna head out so let's go check out the show You want to say what's going on at the show this week? Welcome to the Houston Fishing Show. So many great vendors for anything that you need fishing-wise. Myself, I deal in nautical-related jewelry made out of sterling silver. I hand make each piece. I specialize in salt water, but I do bass and crappie and things of that nature as well. Offshore, inshore. Been an avid angler, like the name of my business, for decades, and hope to continue on. What is going on at the show? What today? is going on, Ruben? I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Um, we just started. We just opened up, and I'm looking for customers, sir. I'm just looking. <laughs> just looking. Uh, everything just is 25 percent off today, Ruben. That is an awesome deal. Awesome deal. I'm fully stocked. Waiting for everybody to come by talk fishing and sell some lures awesome what's the what's the hot one if if, if uh, what's your hot hot lure you know our hot lure is always our standard three and a quarter size voodoo ship the hot color right now is gold also our green hornet our bloody mary is super hot but interesting enough the top category that's raising in sales right now is our two inch we are selling this Bayou Brew, the Chartreuse, and the Pink, all sell them. Um, consumer sales, they'll buy 10 and 12 at a time. Yeah. And they are hitting it. They're hitting trout off the piers. A lot of trout. Yeah. Doing really good. Can I be your first customer? Absolutely. Just turn that around and Miss Mary you, right behind you. What are you buying, Cody? Take well, you this Voodoo Mondo Mullet. Mondo I've, mullet I've caught a lot injured. of fish on these things. Turn, what, it, uh, turn it to the side so he can there, see. There you go. Zoom in uh, on that. It has reverse hydro cups on the end, so when it's coming through the water, it's wobbling back and forth. All you have to do is cast it and bring it back. That's it all takes you have to do. no That's knowledge of how to use it, and it's great to troll behind the kayak as well. I've awesome. used it for a search lure when we're having problems catching fish in shallow water. I put this on, make a long cast, and usually can find fish with this. So. That's your search and destroy. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. That's your search and destroy. Yeah, well, we've used yeah. it a couple times. Yeah. It's done pretty yeah. well. It's Mary's favorite. Actually, you introduced me to that. Yeah, one. yeah. That's probably I still, the one you gave so. me, I still have it. <laughs> I've used them a lot. So. I retired it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're awesome. <laughs> so next up would be our Mambo and the Vixen. The Vixen is just a go-getter. Uh, something else that we just realized this year, we have a lot of people that are trolling for stripers, that they're putting these on their umbrella rigs. Oh, okay. 
Wow. Trolling, yeah. lots of guides up in the Fort Worth area. Really? Those three and four lakes that are so known for their mm -hmm. striper fishing, they are buying us out on three and four inch voodoo shad. Wow. So we know it'll work in fresh water even though we're an inshore saltwater right, right, company. Right, right. It's a good lure, still good all around movement. lure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. We also have some new colors in our wedge tail. Came out. We've got a brown shrimp that we introduced. A morning glory, the black pearl, red and white. I think that's all the new colors that we just came out with. But um, our patented tail, those are always a good seller and it's a great buy. Absolutely. So, awesome. Well, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Ruben. I appreciate you. <laughs> What's going on today? Oh, not much. Just trying to sling some boats. You know, so, uh, come on out to George R. Brown all week long. I'll be here from uh, well, 12 o'clock till the closest every day so come on by after you see us we've got a bunch of new jacksons out uh we're doing 10 percent off on all kayaks uh and 25 percent off on the kusa f hds so if you want some kayaks come see me uh, it's gonna be a good time good show a lot of new products out a lot of new vendors come on out what we got going on the show this week all right so we have all of our line cutters you know we're known for the ring cuts all your fishing line so no matter if you're fishing with mono, floral, even braid, you can bring it through. It's going to cut it like a hot knife through butter. We have a couple different applications. Um, our flat mount, you can actually put on boats, kayaks, tackle boxes, any hard surface. Uh, zipper pull, you can put them on your jackets, bibs, waders, lanyards. And then our brand new one is our uh, dual hybrid micro scissor. So we won best in show at ICAST for this one in the cutlery division. You'll have your serrated snips that lock into place, uh, our ceramic blade on the end, and then you can actually clip it, you know, right on your hat or a belt loop if you wanted to. But all completely safe, ceramic, so it's not gonna rust in fresh water or salt water. Awesome. Yeah. So, man, I help, I help people catch fish. Huh? I said I help people catch there fish. There you go, that's what I'm uh, talking about. So, last year, I had a few of the Ned Bugs here, but I didn't have the whole arsenal. Okay. And so, that's new. Um, and on the table, you'll see we have bass jigs on one side and then saltwater stuff on the left. Okay. So these are called the original bass jig, tied with rabbit strips because of how it moves in the water. I rigged trailers on here so you can see kind of what they look like, but they come just plain like this. And these colors right here. And then these are the, the Ned Craw Bugs. It's articulated so that you'll get a lot of movement from that tail and the tail is split into two pieces like okay. the claws of crawfish. And you know, just like all Neds are made to go on the bottom and look alive. And so these are the, the crawfish colors, green pumpkin, watermelon red, black and purple, and then new penny. And then there's, one, there's a worm a black and blue worm um, same thing you know get to the bottom bump it along the bottom or you can swim with um, these are these are called bitty bugs and these are for people that side cast redfish and sheep's head in shallow water and people like sheep's head are a challenge to sight fish for but they will eat those and if you catch them on the right mood they'll eat curl tail jigs also but they will definitely eat those bitty bugs. Okay. Did he, say sheep he did say sheep head. Yeah. <laughs> He's a I sheep head guy. Yeah, I love sheep. Yeah. And then uh, those are, of course, the curl tails, the ones we've been selling now for 13 years that, you know, best sellers. Wow, really 13 good. years? Yeah. Wow. So 2010, yeah. at this show in 2010, I sold my first bug. Really? So, wow. yeah. This is our 14th show. Oh, oh awesome. One. Yeah. Um, and then those are the, uh, we got clickbait shrimp, we got trout thumpers, bait fish imitation, and then these are the Ned minnows. You know, same concept, uh, but a minnow profile. And then those are the Ned bugs that imitate little shrimp or little crabs. I can see that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good detail there. So, this is a chance to get a good deal on bugs and ask you know any questions you want and uh yeah hope you'll come by awesome thank you yeah, appreciate you it well, well these are mud minnow spins here I see that these have been winning like dustin nichols he, he had already limited out in a tournament and he switched to that mud minnow spin and he caught the biggest fish in one big red sci-fi uh, same thing for uh, uh 
Jacob Sumdio. There's several. Uh, there's the Galveston Redfish series. Like the mm -hmm. catch, it's pretty serious. This is the right. best on the coast in right. this area. Let's admit that. How new is this new trout candy? Oh yeah, that's a nice. I see that. You see that? Yep. It, it actually Sounds the good. first glitter pattern I've been able to do that actually looks like a bleeding fish. And that goes in the water because blood is shiny. Blood is not dull. Right. Okay. And then when you look at that, it actually looks like open wound. Like if you cut yourself open like that, it would look like that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look like amber, kind of mushed up and shiny. I, I duplicated it. Nice. And, and uh, Bradley McCullis, who's on my pro staff, y'all know him? Yep. He, he sent me an email and goes, that is so good, I'll, I'm not going to use your other color, I'm just going to use that one. I said, that's fine with me, go ahead. A week later is when he caught his 34-inch redfish up there in the back of Galveston, wow. the back of Marshall. Yeah. And that's pretty good size fish for the back. That's a very good back area. Yeah. That's a good one. And uh, so, yeah, he, but he was right. I told him, don't, don't worry about it, but keep using it. <laughs> I see this one too, yeah. Uh, new nice Nitro 5 will pack at the shop. Uh -huh. yes. There's six online at the, the store, so everything's good. Uh, so yeah, this is a better summer slam booth. What we do is we take out about 200, 250 veterans every year, free of charge on an offshore trip out of Galveston. Uh, big party afterwards, all of them get to take on their fish they catch. Van, uh, food, and uh, raffle out of the prize at the end of the trip. So what what what, uh, what day is it this year? What? Uh, July twenty first is the captain's meeting, and July twenty second is the actual event. And what are you looking for? You're looking for looking for a sponsor, boat captains, and then obviously veterans. Too. Okay. So we get about a thousand sign up. Typically, we only can take about two to three hundred every year. Awesome. How's it going? Maybe the cost in the house. We're out here at the Houston Fishing Show. Y'all need to come out here. We're gonna be here till Sunday. We close at nine o'clock Monday through Friday. Y'all need to come check us out. We got our new hat apparel here we got things that people don't make right now we, i think we were the first ones right here to take a look at that that's a lure look at that glass look how thick that glass is we got several hats that we made out here we're coming out with a new line of product man we're trying to set the trend out here you know and of course me vida costa all our shirts are made here in the united states you need to come out here and check us out boom tell us you saw this video on youtube that ruben sent first one that tells us they're gonna get a discount on whatever they want here. Y'all come check us out, man. That's wood and cork. cork. That's real wood with a cork logo on it. Well, that is going to do it today. You know what? I had a really, really good time out there at the show. There's just so much to see. I didn't I didn't even have time to like I was there from like 10 in the morning to like 8 at night, and I didn't even get a chance to cover all the vendors and talk to everybody I wanted to. I didn't get a chance to go into the boats and climb around. I wanted to spend a little more time in the kayaks, but I'm going to be back again. I'm going to be back, uh, probably go out tomorrow, which is Friday, and then I might, I'm, I'm going to be out Saturday. Saturday from 12 to 2, I'm going to be with Ingrid Bates checking out some voodoo shrimp, voodoo shad. So if you're around, Ingrid Bates is right next to Fishing, it's right next to Fishing Tackle Unlimited. So come out. See me, come talk to me, and uh, and and buy some great lures. You know, I mean, there is just so much to see there. There's so much, so many people to talk to. You know, I I love meeting new people, and I love uh, give me a chance to see and, and talk to some old friends. So it's always good to go to these shows. Everybody that stopped me and talked to me, I appreciate each and every one of you. And you know, I mean, I did. I got stopped by. A, a lot of people walking through, uh, recognizing me, recognizing Cody um, from the, from the videos, and uh, yeah, thanks guys. You know, it means a lot. So if you do see me out there, you know, don't hesitate to stop, don't hesitate to talk. You know, I love talking about fishing, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I need to get back. I need to get back out there. I need to go buy some some stuff. You know, I, I left a lot on the table. I need to go spend more money and go buy some more more lures there's just a lot of great stuff to see a lot of great stuff to see a lot of great people a lot of great products support small businesses if you ha don't have the opportunity to go out then find some of the vendors online go to their websites check them out on website you know just help help support small businesses that's what i'm all about i, I love supporting and taking care of our fishing community uh you know a lot goes on a lot goes into a lot of these products they're make uh these businesses make and 
uh, a lot of people you talk to, a lot of the, especially like the lures, uh, the guys that, that are pouring lures and selling lures, they have day jobs. They have full-time jobs, so they'll do these events. They'll get ready. They'll go to the next event. They'll get ready. I mean, there's like another event like in Louisiana, like in eight days, that uh, after, as soon as this, this show ends, that a lot of people are packing up and going to and then still, you know, trying to juggle their family and day jobs. So I, I love going out there and supporting some hardworking true true hard-working people so yeah check them out and like i said if you don't have a chance to go out then check them out online uh i'll try to do my best leaving all their links in the description of the video if not to just google search it but thanks if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go ahead and do so like the video leave a comment you know maybe you went out to the fishing show maybe you have you know your favorite thing you know, and I was asked that, what is the one thing that I saw at the fishing show that is like a must-have? So, if you see something out there that is a must-have, then leave it in the comment below. Let me know what it is, and, and heck, maybe I overlooked it, because like I said, there's tons and tons of products. There's tons and tons of uh, vendors out there, so if there's something that I might have missed, they say, hey, Ruben, really check this out. Hey, try this lure. Have you tried this? Let me know, and I will check it out. And uh, till next time, hopefully you're going to catch me. Hook it up. Thanks. Thanks.